Good morning to everybody. How are you today? This is the aftermath of what happened in Big Bear with this three and a half days worth of storms. So we're gonna go check some stuff out. Here's the boulevard. We're just gonna do the whole entire town today. So you guys can see what little snow remains. It was just, I mean, look at this. Some parts are gonna have more, so don't be too bummed. Overnight, it started raining again a little bit. But the good news is we do have some uh, some really, really good weather coming in the beginning of, of February. Like half of my forecast, like the whole last part of it is all snow. Some rain, of course, but I'm just saying all weather events here. From February 1st, like through the 6th or or 7th, whatever my thing is showing, it's just showing consistent weather. Which is pretty crazy. So I'm looking forward to that. It's not saying like a whole bunch, of, but there's a lot of one to three inches for mornings and evenings and stuff like that, but none of the stuff that we want to see, which is three to five inches or eight, eight, eight to 12 inches, or the best is a foot or more. One of my forecasts says that, but still six days in a row. And when I wake up tomorrow, it, it could be seven days in a row and then eight days in a row. So I'm just really, really hopeful that it continues in this trend. <laughs> this is what we are going here. Temperature's 37, it's 9.41 in the morning. And we are right there. Don't forget guys, go to bigbearweatherandmore.com, get your merchandise, su support the brand, I'd really appreciate it. If you're not much of a you know, merchandise type of a person, there's other ways you can support as well in the description of the video. And thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh man, I'm, ex I'm exhausted. I got good sleep, but I'm exhausted. It's a lot of effort, but it's so worth it. Keeps me out of my own head too. Stroll through Sugarloaf. Big pothole just popped up during this storm. That's not good. But that's uh, pretty standard for this area. And most areas that get snow, no matter how good you, you maintain the roads, the snow plows are going to inevitably cause problems. While they're at the same time keeping you safe. What an oxymoron. That's one of the, the snow play sledding places, 45 bucks a head. And it's a little bit cheaper for like, I think under like 13 or under 11 or something like that. That's called Big Bear Snow Play. And we're in Big Bear City now. <coughs> also want to thank a lot of you that were hanging out on that live feed that was really cool chatting with you guys for days. Very cool.
So the reason we got a little later start today is because it was, I mean, it was ridiculously foggy. I wanted to take you guys on that drive because I haven't seen fog like that up here in a long time. Over a year for sure, but you guys wouldn't be able to see anything. And the whole point of this video is for those of you who come up here and own property or just come to visit on a fairly frequent basis, you can you can get to see the whole entire town for the most part and make a judgment of if it looks safe enough for you to come up to your part of town and so forth and so on. And when it's completely socked in like it was until about 30 minutes ago, it's, uh, yeah, I, I just felt it, it'd be best if I waited. <coughs> We just passed Big Bear Smoke and Vape on the left hand side. Really, really great shop. Really, really great shop. Um, one of the only places up here that will, that you'll see it's similar price, maybe even a touch less than most of the stuff down the mountain. The owner, Sahil, super cool cat, man. Super cool cat. If you go in there, he will take care of you if you say that I referred you. When I first moved up here, he was just so nice to me. I was extremely, extremely alone, just utterly alone. And uh, he made me feel like I was at home and just a, a really neat guy. And I always want to help support, su support businesses like that who take care of the tourists and um, just good, good people. I mean, bottom line is, I, I want everyone up, 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 you know, up in this town to do well. I want everyone to succeed, but. He's a really great dude. And he's got a shop in Big Bear Lake as well. So Big Bear Smoke and Vape. And it's not just smoke and vape stuff. They've got little local trinkets and some uh, some other types of merchandise and stuff too just cool cool stuff cool people and deserving this little stretch of road last year was impassable all the cars were driving on this side of the yellow line going this way so it, it got pretty sketchy got really sketchy and uh, last but not least you guys don't forget about get boards <clears throat> get boards is our best ski ski and snowboard rental spot um, they also have a bunch of fantastic equipment top of the line best of the best and if you mention that you watch this channel they will wax your skis and snowboards for free again a really great owner cares about the tourism <laughs> like big time and he will definitely take care of you and something i found out is they offer ski rentals or sorry uh clothing rentals if you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars to buy yourself an outfit that most of you may only wear once to go skiing or snowboarding 25 bucks guys to rent the whole the whole whole whole, whole giddy up so that's something i never knew that 
some of these spots offer. <laughs> and I think it's a terrific idea. There's our high school up here. Big Bear High School. Pretty huge property. But yeah, we're in Sugarloaf. We're on a street called Maple. Maple Lane. So we're going to do the whole valley on this run. We're going to go through Irwin Lake. We're going to go through Baldwin Lake. Back around through Fawnskin. And the snowiest parts of town. I got a really good question yesterday about uh, how come when I was driving through like a deeper part of Fawnskin, there was more snow when I had already passed through the snowiest part of town. And that's a great question. So that that part of town over there where you're still really close to the dam, um, that's not 100% Big Bear snow rule every single time. That part of town, you, you know, can get as much snow sometimes as, as the dam being just about a, a mile and a half away. Um, and sometimes more, but very, very rarely more. Very rarely more. But yesterday, during a really heavy, during some heavy thunder snow, that part of town got a little bit more snow quicker. But we'll be able to see today what they ended up with. But when it comes to uh, the in the big picture, the, sn the snowiest and least snowiest parts of town, it's going to be within a mile to a mile and a half on either side from Big Bear Dam on Highway 18 or Highway 38, because when you get into town at, at, at the dam, you can turn left on 38 or stay straight on Highway 18, and for about a mile and a half each way, it's snowy part of town. Once you get out to this area and back the other way towards Baldwin, it's always less. But once again, we're up here in elevation in Sugarloaf. The further we turn to the left, the more snow you will get as you climb up in elevation. But my Big Bear Snow Rule refers to the valley about what parts of our valley, our seven and a half to eight mile long valley, get the most and least snow. So again, the Big Bear Dam area, and the closer you are to the dam, more snow. The further you go away from the dam, the accumulation becomes less and less. I'm interested to see what Baldwin looks like right now. Since we had a lot of snow melt, all over town because of all the rain we got, it's probably not gonna be a, a good, you know, comparison of the Big Bear Snow Rule to see one side of town and the other, but I'll still bet Baldwin's gonna look significantly less, but we'll see. So we're at the end of Sugarloaf, and that car straight ahead is about to go down into Moonloaf, which is a, a an off-roading area that takes you from Sugarloaf to Upper Moon Ridge. It's not a big stretch, it's it's not a long stretch, but it's a nice shortcut if you have the right equipment to drive with. Especially during storms when we have a lot of tourism in town. It can save you a lot of time. But it is a little bit sketchy. I have that route maybe 50 times on on video, at least 50 times. And as we get more snow and I'm driving my other car, we will do that route more often. Just so, once again, those of you who have the proper equipment to do it, I'll be able to show you a, a nice shortcut. And it's fun and it's beautiful. Again, it's really short. It's really, really short, but 
it's, it's, it, it's great. Here's the Sugarloaf grid. back on Maple, but we're not going to be going down Maple. We're going to turn right on Baldwin to head down to Highway 38 and then start driving like we're driving out of town. But we're going to hit one of our furthest neighborhoods out called Irwin Lake. It's all part of the valley, but not the main part of the valley. From Baldwin Lake to the Big Bear Dam, that's the, that's the main part of the valley. That's what we do most often for the aftermath video. But we're gonna be doing everything up here. One neighborhood we are gonna miss is Lake Williams. It's a lot further out. No one stays there. They might have an Airbnb out there. Probably do, but super tiny little place. And it's kinda of out of the way. It would make this video be like way over two hours. Speaking of a long drive, we're really low on gas. I run Baldwin right now. Here's a cool little park. It's the Sugarloaf Park. They've got a, a skate park there, a basketball court, baseball field, a dog park. Some of the kids that skateboard there, man, just absolutely crush it. Absolutely crush it. And one of our nicer neighborhoods up here, you turn right at this next right-hand turn, and it's just a bunch of big, beautiful mansions. Only thing I don't like about this neighborhood is it's far away from everything. But then again, that's what a lot of people who want to relax and enjoy the fruits of their labor, they, they don't want to be in the middle of, uh, of all the craziness. All right, Highway 38, here we go. Temperature's 35 degrees. State Lane. This is probably one of the bigger neighborhoods in the whole Big Bear Valley area. A lot of the locals live out here. And again, I'm sure they have Airbnbs here too. Those of you who want to stay far away from, from the hustle and bustle. We'll go most of the way through here. Kind of a 
cut through some of the streets just so you guys can kind of get a sense of what it is like over here. So you got a lot of dirt roads over here. And again, cute little area. Far away from everything. Alright, I wanted to turn around and take this back out here to uh, State Lane so we can go to the very end real quick. Just so you guys can see what it's, what this neighborhood's like also. I mean, there's streets to the right, to the left. There's, there's a lot of streets. This actually might be the biggest neighborhood up here in terms of how many houses. <laughs> Further you go down State Lane, and I know two two people that live out at the very end here. This is a, a pretty awesome place because you come through this huge neighborhood and then boom, look at this area. It's something else, just gorgeous equestrian area. Huge, huge prairie out here. I mean, it's, it's really beautiful, you guys. This town is full of surprises like this. You wouldn't imagine driving into that, this neighborhood that you have this out here. It's, it's just remarkable. And again, we're on part of the, the least snowy part of town, but this isn't the least snowy part. It's close, but because this town is closer to the mountain, which is over here, they get a little bit more snow than where we're going next, which is the least snowy part of town. Baldwin Lake. And Baldwin's so large, it's not all of Baldwin that's very, very minimal snow. But I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like in Baldwin compared to our next stop, which will be driving through Fonskin after Baldwin. views of the mountains over here there's a it's a really great time lapse from this part of town 
back in 2010 before I lived here showing about four feet of snow falling right here. When I first moved up here, I watched that time lapse so many times, I can't even tell you. It was like the coolest thing. And I've always tried to figure out which house it was. That video is still the most snow that I've seen, like up here. But yeah, we're about out of Irwin Lake. Then we're gonna head down, as I said, to Baldwin. We're gonna hop back on Highway 38, one of the thoroughfares in and out of this mountain town. y'all right, let's do this sometimes I like to take this little bit of a shortcut up here um, not for like a technical shortcut just so you guys can see some nice views on the way into Baldwin but I want you guys to see how to get to Baldwin from Highway 38 that's important to me Remember, you turn left here to go to Sugarloaf. This is the route you always want to take, you guys, if it's snowing or icy. Turn left on Baldwin Lane right there. You don't want to go up or down Maple. Very dangerous, very steep. Over the years, we get numerous accidents up here. On, on Maple. But yeah, usually I would turn right here to take you guys down to another beautiful prairie area but this is going to be you know super long video so I, I gotta try to get through it so i can get it uploaded for y'all but yeah i'm interested to see how much snow is in the least snowy part of town i do two videos in the morning i do two videos at night I do two videos when it's snowing hard And then I wanna fight I do two videos and I post them up <laughs> My sublime rendition of my channel guaranteed had by far the most snow we've seen all season if this storm would have stayed snow so we're on Shea Road if we would have made a left right there that's bit that would be Big Bear Boulevard if you go the direction this guy in the Rams going he's he's about to hit Big Bear Boulevard staying straight so we are in Baldwin Lake on Shea Road little area when there's snow everywhere it just looks so so pretty that beautiful gazebo over there it's a really really pretty spot this town does have a lot of really pretty spots I, I gotta tell you Baldwin Lake has a big equestrian side to it. And maybe this summer, I mean, most likely, I'm gonna try to get a horseback riding video together for you guys. I think that'd be pretty cool. And because I want it to be good, 
I'm gonna have to buy a helmet to attach the GoPro to the top of the helmet so it can be a great video. And then over here on this road, Shea Road, which is about to turn into Baldwin Lake Road, there is a area where when we do get snow, which is, you know, this part of Baldwin on the right will get snow because it's right up against the mountain or the hill. But uh, there's, a, there's a little sledding, sledding area up here that I've sent many people to. This is a beautiful view, this Baldwin Lake. So we're coming up to the little sledding part. You'll be able to tell when we get to the right. Okay, here, here it is right here. So you just pull your car into this little area right here. Park it right here, keep an eye on your kids and let them go up and sled on down. Again, important, keep your eye on your kids because that's one of the spots that's not the like 100% safe like the other ones that I want to send you guys to because I don't want you guys to get run over I don't want your kids to get run over so they'll catch some good speed going down that hill you just got to be at the bottom in case they're going a little bit faster and uh, come into the street here or again you can go pay 45 bucks for an all-day sled pass at either Big Bear Snow Play or the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. They've got a sledding area there. And again, I'm 99.9% .9 certain it's all day. So for 45 bucks, you get to sled all day long. And you can really get a lot of sledding in. You don't use a lot of energy because there's um, a, uh, a powered walkway that pulls you up to the top a motorized walkway so you don't have to use any energy to get back up to the top all you do is just have fun that's all you do so yeah lots of horses over here there's Baldwin Lake there's a little bit of a lake forming right there that's great I mean very little but it's nice seeing anything out there Come February, with all these storms coming, I believe that that's gonna be a lot more full. A lot more full. And they've got ranches all over here. And then if you turn right at this next street called Ponderosa Ranch, you wouldn't know it, but there's a beautiful neighborhood up here, hidden away, equestrian neighborhood, Beautiful, beautiful houses. Another gem in this area. Yeah, this is the view these people get up here. And as I said, when there's water in that lake, like there is now, it's just so beautiful. And it gets a lot more full and covers a lot more real estate typically. But we've had a weak year so far. But yeah, it's just beautiful out here. This is another spot if you're not all about wanting to be in the whole tourist hub of our mountain town. This is a nice little getaway, but it's the least amount of snow in the entire town. And we're, we're getting further and further into the least amount of snowy areas here. I'm interested to see what the, uh, the Big Bear Dam area looks like. Again, I, I think it's gonna be pretty remarkable, the difference, even though it's not that much snow, but you can see all this, all this dry, all the dry patches over here. Or actually, it's so little snow, I just should say, look at the few snow patches over here, because it's dry everywhere. And again, the further we go, the less snow you will see.
And once again, we're on Baldwin Lake Road. When you look in the camera, it does look like I'm driving super fast. It really does. When you look at the speedometer, we're going about 30 miles an hour. Speed limit's 35. Road conditions are totally fine. There's Baldwin Lake, it looks beautiful. This weekend storm brought all that water in there. just on the other side of the desert right here so you can see there's just no snow over here it's not crazy you guys nothing <laughs> just absolutely nothing remarkable so we are in the least snowy part of town right here this nice stretch over here I see some snow up in the hills there but this is the least snowy part of town. This whole area. Temperature went back up to 37. Here's what the map looks like. You see that big lake to the left? Most of the year, there's nothing in that lake. It's just a, it's just a, a, a dry lake bed. All right, we are on highway, coming up to highway 18 now. If you make a right-hand turn right here, within about a quarter mile, you'll start heading, or maybe a little over a quarter mile, you'll start heading down the mountain. You just gotta go up this little part, and you will start heading down into the beautiful desert. And the views can be absolutely amazing. But look at that snow line on the mountainside right there. How cool is that? Yeah, there's nothing over here. Absolutely nothing. I didn't expect to, the whole thing to be bare. <laughs> I really didn't, but that's the big bear snow rule, guys. If you get a couple feet of snow at the big bear dam, there might be a few inches out here. It's just how it works. But this is, I can't get over this though. Halfway up that that mountain is when it's you start to see some accumulation it's really really beautiful The further we go this direction, the more and more snow you're, you're gonna see. As a matter of fact, so the part of Baldwin that we just came from with no snow is right over here. But then the further you look over there to your right, you can see the snow building and building and building little by little. This is what we're gonna see on this drive. Oh, it's so awesome. I absolutely love it. It's incredible to me. A lot of people are probably like, uh, okay. And why is that so cool? I don't know, it just is. Nothing, just nothing over here. Once we get around this kind of right, right hand turn around this corner up here, we'll start seeing more and more snow. Baldwin Lake. Wow, you can see the snow line at the ski resorts too. 
from where it changed from snow to rain. Ah, oh, it's just unbelievable. I've, I haven't seen this maybe but a couple, maybe two other times since I've lived here. And it's usually in October when we get our first storm that comes through. Usually the snow level will be like 8,000 feet, 8,500 feet. And this is what you will get. <laughs> that you see the green and then the white above it like a perfect line foggy inside the car. I'm gonna turn on the defroster again for a moment. For a moment. <laughs> See the snow at the top of that mountain as well. Again, remarkable. Same thing over here. further we go this way the more and more snow we're going to see again it's not going to be that much but it's going to be significantly different compared to what we just saw which is absolutely nothing Again, it was so foggy this morning. Oh my gosh. Would have been a cool, eerie video.
hoping my timing is good as well so we don't hit traffic coming into town. I doubt we will. Because it is Tuesday, but... I know I had a bunch of people on here who were leaving comments slash questions asking uh, how do I think the roads are going to be because they really want to come up to ski in the fresh snow. And this is what I imagined they would, they would be like, just totally fine because of all the rain that we got that melted a lot of that snow that stuck to the roads. Stanfield cutoff. That's your last chance to cut back to the south shore where all the resorts are before you start to head towards Fonsi. And as you can see, there's more regular snow coverage over here, and it's just going to get more and more. I mean, there's still dry patches everywhere. But I have a feeling when we get, o get over past Fonsi and closer to the dam, there will be not many bald spots anywhere. Man, just gorgeous, baby, gorgeous. That snow summit peeking out of the clouds right there so beautifully. With such grace. are a little bit damper over here so you want to take it cautiously you guys Remember, same elevation as where we just were, where you saw absolutely nothing, and not that far away. That's that, that's why it's, for me, so interesting. buddy Ray who you guys know from my the ski video and then all the hiking videos he went up to Mammoth to go up there and ski for for a week lucky guy I'm jealous that's some real snow up there We're 
Ranch from Fonskin. Slow it down now to the 25. I've always loved this house right here. A little peekaboo view of the lake. Gosh, these houses right there. Man, I would love to live there. Love, love, love. something isn't that something all right we're getting closer to downtown Fonskin and then from that point on we should be getting into a little bit more snow Right about here is where I was right under one of the thunderstorms yesterday where it started really snowing heavy. So when you get thunderstorms, wherever those pop up, that that's going to get the heaviest precipitation. That will usually uh, squash the Big Bear snow rule, but wintertime, just like most places, getting thunderstorms thunder snow is very rare but i've recorded it probably 15 times since i've lived up here so it's not that rare in this town compared to everywhere else even just on on planet earth it is a very rare situation ask jim cantori of the weather channel <laughs> i think he was in chicago doing a little weather reporting and then he absolutely flips out in a very great, funny way when a lightning bolt just lit up the whole sky while it was snowing and the thunder was roaring. All right, guys. Downtown Fonskin. As I always say, don't blink. Because we will get through here in a heartbeat. Since there's no one behind us, I'm going to take a look at the tributary. It's probably maybe flowing a little bit. I don't hear any flow at all. I don't hear any flow at all. Make sure you guys say hi to Jackie and Shadow, our famous eagles up here. They live up here in these trees somewhere. A few of you have told me exactly how I can find the, with exactly which tree it is. There's a certain place up here I can go and then use landmarks to, like, uh, to uh, find it. Like it's, it's three trees left of, of the house with the 50 foot point on the roof or like something like that. So yeah, we're starting to get into the snowy, snowier part of town and it should get snowier and snowier the further we go this way. Again, it's, it's, it's not much because of all that rain that we got, but there would have been a lot more snow here than 
you see right now. One of my favorite points of this whole town right here. It's gorgeous. It's so peaceful up here. We're gonna get some some pretty nice lake views once we pass some of these houses here. But out of being respectful of the drivers behind now, because there's someone coming up now, we, we gotta speed back up to whatever's safe for the road. It's gonna be less than the speed limit, of course, but it'll be close. It's just the video is not ever gonna be more important than other people's time, I'll tell you that, so. Yeah, we're so lucky to live here. We are so lucky to live here. Don't get me wrong, I miss Newport Beach a lot. I miss my hometown, but... So even though this part of town still gets a lot of snow, when, when you have any sunlight or anything like that, since there's nothing really, really protecting this part of fawn skin, the snow will melt faster, but it still gets a good amount of snow right here. I mean, you can look at every single one of my snow videos, literally. Every one that I go from here to Baldwin, which is about, gosh, I have 3,400 videos, and those particular videos have to be maybe half half of the videos. At least. dam you can get a little bit of a view of the dam right there and we are eight feet below full but it looks pretty good huh looks pretty good all right we're at the dam you can see piles of snow because of the snow plows but again the snow or the, the rain crushed all the snow which is such a disappointment you turn right, you'll start heading out of town. You'll go through Running Springs, going that way to the right, and then eventually down the mountain if you cut into to Highway 330 from Highway 18. So 
despite all the rain that destroyed all this snow, the Big Bear snow rule is still in effect. This side over here, this one mile stretch from the dam is a little bit snowier than the other side because it's right up against the mountain here. The mountain across the way doesn't get nearly as much as this one does right here because the storms hit here first. The mountains cause a lot of lifting and condensing and then it just dumps a whole bunch of snow here and a lot of the, uh, the uh, muscle from the storm is relieved right here. And by the time it gets across the lake, which is not far at all, just right there, there's hardly anything. Hardly anything left. Again, it's, it's, it's just really, really cool how a mountain really affects the storms. Temperature's still 37 degrees. It's 11.05 now. So we've been doing this for a minute today, right? For a minute, man. Yeah, I mean, a lot more snow over here, even with the significant melt compared to Baldwin, right, guys? You can tell, right? I mean, it's pretty easy to tell when there's zero snow <laughs> and then even this little tiny bit of snow. There's probably only a couple inches over here, but it would have been about at least, oh man, I guarantee you, if that snow wouldn't have changed back to rain, there'd be maybe eight inches of snow over here. Maybe more, to be honest. Pothole. And another one, and another one. Careful guys, please, because uh, our potholes can get really nasty up here. And last year, even though this is a state highway, Highway 18, AKA Big Bear Boulevard, uh, the state didn't come in and take care of this. And there were a lot of locals that were doing what they can to uh, help take care of these by putting sandbags in these deep potholes and stuff like that because people were popping their tires, busting up their suspension and alignment every day because of uh, some of the massive potholes we had. They just did not take care of it in a timely fashion at all. So many of you sent me messages that you hit potholes and got flat tires last year and I felt so bad because there's there's nothing I can do about that. There's nothing I can do. Except just tell you guys to please be aware that that situation is a, a big time issue. Right now, not so bad. Couple potholes, but nothing like it was last season. Nothing like it was last season. Boulder Bay Park. My favorite places here. say congratulations man I'm really proud of you I am really proud of you you know I'm always gonna be here for you bro just keep up the good work and get through the whole detox thing you're gonna be fine again I'll be here for you whatever you need brother okay you know I love you very much and I don't want to see anything happen to you So don't worry guys, I'm not looking at phones. 
a message popped up right here and I push a button and do voice text while I'm staring straight ahead. All right. Good friend of mine finally doing what he needs to do to clean up his act and I'm, gosh, I, I couldn't be more proud of him. Couldn't be more proud of you, bro. I'm gonna take you by one of the free sledding areas. So when you're driving on this main road, Big Red Boulevard, AKA Highway 18, you'll turn right on Tulip, maybe about three quarter, about a mile before you get to the Big Bear Village, maybe less, but pretty darn close to a mile. Turn right on Tulip. And then of course, if we do the whole town, we gotta go through the village, right? So we're gonna go through the village too, which is gonna be basically the, pretty much the end. We didn't go through Moonridge though, did we? Oh man. I think we're gonna have to go through Moonridge, guys. We've done this much, we might as well do the whole thing. But then I'd have to do Lake Williams. <laughs> You guys wouldn't get bitter at me for not doing Lake Williams. I put in a lot of effort, a lot of gas into making sure that you guys can see this town. Some good snow over here. Nice to see this, but yeah, you can, if you find a, a legal parking space, you can hike out here, do a little bit of sledding here, but that's not even the part that I'm talking about. It's this area right here, this big parking lot. We're gonna pull into the parking lot. So you guys can see, this is called Aspen Glen. And again, if you don't wanna spend spend the money, and still be in a really cool space. Oh, and people are sledding, look. That's great, right there. So just park right here and do some sledding right there. Just, just awesome. Oh yeah, guys, that's amazing. And it looks good too. It looks like the sledding's good. It's probably gonna be a little bit icy. And look, some more people bringing their sleds. Yay! Yay, I love seeing that. But again, you must park in a place where you're allowed to park because they do not mess around up here. They will ticket and tow you in a heartbeat. No passing go, no collecting $200. All right, here we go. Back to Big Bear Boulevard. The Boulevard. Then here's a paid place to go sledding. This is the other paid place of the two that I refer you guys to. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's only two. That's right here. It's called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. And you can see right there, are people sledding down that hill right there. I believe once again, it's 45 bucks there. They do have a roller coaster that runs in the winter time as well. We might have to do that winter roller coaster that would be an awful lot of fun. straight into the beautiful village of Big Bear. Eventually. You guys want to see what it's like to stay there i have this place on my playlist i stayed in their biggest room available that they offer i think it was about 1100 square feet 
or maybe a little bit more. And this is my favorite place. We have it on the playlist as well. The playlist is called Lodging. We stayed in one of their three bedroom places, just my wife and myself, but we got hooked up with a crazy deal. Otherwise, in the wintertime, that spot was like a thousand bucks at least per night. But they were nice enough because they watched the channel there to, to give me a tour of the presidential suite there. So you can see that as well. That's called uh, the, the Club at Big Bear Village uh, from Blue Green Resorts. So yeah, we are in the beautiful village right now. The beautiful village. Right here, down this street, on the left where it says ATM, there's a bar called Murray's right there. And Murray's is one of the best places up here for bar food and karaoke. Of course, I don't know how their drinks taste because I don't drink, but I know when I first moved up here to try to just not be all alone. I was going out and doing karaoke and stuff like that. And when I tried their food, I was <laughs> I was blown away. Couldn't believe it. This little hole in the wall bar just had amazing food. When this place is a winter wonderland, it's, I don't know, feels like maybe what the North Pole would feel like. With the peace and joy and serenity in your heart and just beautiful lights and great shopping and great restaurants. Again, you guys, when I give you guys my opinions on certain uh, restaurants, it's it's my personal, honest opinion. It That doesn't necessarily mean that um, for instance, if, if I say that, eh, it, it was okay, you know, not a huge fan, that doesn't mean that you won't think it's the absolute best. So I don't want you to not try every restaurant up here if there's some that I, I don't like. I met the, the manager of El Jacalito or Hasalito, I think it's Jacalito Mexican food right there. And I met him at the ATM actually, and he recognized me from, from, from the channel and he wouldn't take no for an answer. He, he said, bring your wife in, um, we're gonna make you dinner. I was like, oh, you don't have to do that, man. He's like, no, 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 no. bring your wife in and we're gonna make you dinner. <laughs> so that was awesome. I'll tell you what I, I just never realized uh, the impact that this channel would have. It never was meant for this, but it is what it is. Get boards right here. There's one of them right here. And I think we, we just passed the other one, but those are the two main get board spots on, on the boulevard. And as I said, if you go in, they'll wax your skis and snowboard for free. If you mention the channel, they have the best rental prices. And if you want to save money on, on, on your lift ticket, if you plan on going on a Friday, then buy your lift ticket online at getboards.com on about 72 hours in advance, and you'll save a lot of money from what you'd pay walking up to the ticket window at the resort. So save some money. And, and once again, the owner, Tony, super, super cool cat.
And none of these places, you guys, are like paid marketing, nothing like that. By the way, here's Sessions Retreat and Hotel. That's the place that I really enjoyed, really enjoyed it. The price was the, the biggest part. Just couldn't believe how affordable that place was. That guy, again, cares about bringing in business, allowing you guys to come up to this very expensive town and not have to leave filing chapter seven or chapter 11, you know? His name's Frank, he's a good dude. Again, the people that, you know, care about you guys and are trying to do the best they can to give you the best possible experience, those are the people that I gravitate towards. Of course, I don't have any problem with people making money up here. It's just some sometimes some of these places just charge you just a ridiculous amount of money. For instance, our McDonald's, our Taco Bell, it's like almost double, no joke, what it costs down the mountain. Almost double. But I don't eat that stuff anymore, so it doesn't even matter. So we are gonna do our, our Moon Ridge cruise. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go through Moon Ridge and then come back out Fox Farm and the video will be done. Trying to get to Snow Summit right now would be too much of a pain in the butt. So that's why we are going to hit Bear. And I have to be honest, uh, it didn't look like traffic was that bad at all going to Summit. It's 1120 in the morning. So it's probably uh, not a rough situation but it usually is, especially right after snow. Gosh, man. Those of you in most other places in the country see these gas prices and it's gotta make you sick to your stomach, huh? So many just BS taxes that they put on our gas here and then the state doesn't even take, take care of their people. pretty pathetic all right moon ridge road you guys moon ridge road Up here on the left is a pink colored building and it's called Apple's Bed and Breakfast. Rachel and I really enjoyed it as well. They were actually, the whole place was actually closed, but they let us book it anyway and we had free range of the whole entire place. So like our, in the main house, there's quite a few bedrooms. And of course, most people, when they leave their room, they would lock their door and close their door. But we slept with our bedroom door open because it was like we were living in this mansion all by ourselves. We cruised, cruised the whole house, really enjoyed ourselves. They've got sodas for uh, complimentary for you. They've got snacks complimentary. It, it was just, it felt like being at grandma's house. And for me, that's a great feeling. That's a great feeling. My grandma's house was not that big, but it just had that, that same feel. All right, here's the zoo and 
coming up is my favorite thing over here, which is the golf course. white straight ahead this is the golf course right here it's a little nine hole executive course this cool dude named mike he's their head head greenskeeper just just an awesome awesome kind guy but he does an incredible job keeping this course up to par pun intended um, he does a great job the course is always in a lot better condition than you would ever imagine because of the nasty weather that we get up here this time of year i mean it's <laughs> he, he and his crew do a beautiful job up here it's absolutely lovely and all these houses right here are right on the golf course lucky dogs lucky dogs actually there's there's no luck about it it's called hard work and effort and not complaining and not trying to be a victim every day just going out there and working your butt off and making it happen i love people like that they inspire me not people who make excuses for everything in life because that was me i was that guy look at this oh it just doesn't get any better than that you guys it really doesn't look at how beautiful that is heaven on earth heaven on earth guys I miss working here. I worked right here for a, a season and I, I had so much fun. It was a lot of fun. And it was only my like maybe third year living up here, but obviously I had the channel and it was great because there were some, some people that would come in and recognize me and it would just, I don't know. It made me feel really, really good <laughs> that this little channel I was doing was getting some recognition from people down the mountain. Going through, what's up, bro? <laughs> Good to see you, you too, man. That's one of my boys right there. Cool cat, cool cat. Like, hey, I keep seeing you on Facebook, bro. Have a good day. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. There's some snow over here, right? Some snow over here. All right, so we are gonna head into Upper Moon Ridge for a quick little shout out to the Upper Moon Ridge folk. This is a thorough aftermath video, let me tell you. And my gas tank is thoroughly upset with me though. Look at that. We had over a quarter of a tank, or close to a quarter of a tank. Actually, it was just under, just under a quarter of a tank when we started today. But we've been out here about two hours. Another beautiful golf course view. And you know what, guys? I'm going to take you by the Sheephorn Retreat, the Airbnb that we have on the channel through our, our good friend who found us on the channel. His name is Jay. He's the one who did the Airbnb giveaway. Just a neat guy. So we are going to turn right here on Sheephorn because it's the Sheephorn getaway. Splish splash, I was taking a bath all on a Saturday night. Some more areas that I like to send people to go sledding. You see this gully over here? This gully runs all the way through Moon Ridge. And some parts get a lot higher. But the best part about that whole area is when your kids 
go sledding down one side. They're gonna just go up the other side and not risk hitting cars or going in the street or anything like that. So it's safe. And we're coming up to the sheep horn getaway right here. There she is. Beautiful spot, jacuzzi right outside the master bedroom, right upside the hill and right next to Bear Mountain. He did a great job. He did a great job with that place. It's very comfortable. And it feels like a mountain retreat. It really does. We're gonna take, we could show you more of the gully over here, but as I said, uh, well, I didn't say, but in, in the playlist of free sledding locations, the gully is in there. And uh, yeah, you can check it out and see how to get there. Also on the website, bigbearweathermore.com, there is a little map of the free sledding locations as well. I don't have a map on the channel. I just have me driving to and fro these locations but there's a map of these spots on the bigbearweatherandmore.com website. One of my older brother's best friends from childhood, he and his wife, God, God rest her soul, and she sadly passed away a, a few years ago, but they owned, I think, this place that goes down the mountain, and then this big old spot here too, the Lombardis, Greg Lombardi cool cool dude he used to be a party animal too i mean guys like i even remember they're about 15 16 17 years older than me because that's how old my my oldest brother is but they were party animals and then greg ended up doing really well in real estate in newport beach where my mom and my family is or was my mom moved to redlands a couple years ago about two years ago now to live with my older brother due to finances, breaks my heart. But yeah, we're in Upper Moon Ridge now. And as I said, we're gonna start heading down. <laughs> just wanted you guys to just get a little feeling of Upper Moon Ridge for right now. And we're gonna go through Fox Farm and then we will be done. Once we get to Fox Farm Road and Big Bear Boulevard, the video will be complete. It's 11.30, this, this video probably won't be uploaded till about three, that's how long this thing's gonna take because of the length of the video, but it's all good. And now we're on Butte. We were just on Villa Grove and a few other little side streets, but those are not that important. Villa Grove is because that's the main street in Upper Moon Ridge, the main drag. This road right here, Butte, B-U-T-T-E, becomes very treacherous with ice and snow. I mean, very treacherous. Cars driving up this hill end up sliding backwards. And that's a very terrifying feeling. We're back down into almost middle Moon Ridge area. I don't even know if there's a spot technically called middle Moon Ridge, but there's this a lot of area through here that I consider middle Moon Ridge because it's like mid elevation when it comes to Lower Moon Ridge and Upper Moon Ridge. This is like the middle part of Moon Ridge.
Okay, we're on McAllister, which turns into Fox Farm Road. So we're just gonna take this straight all the way. Fox Farm's a nice neighborhood. They got some really cute houses up here. Some mansions on this side. We already passed some of my favorite spots up here, but they're, they're all really cute houses up here. So you guys, if you guys enjoy what I do and want to help me out a lot, then uh, hitting subscribe and the like button, liking all the videos that you genuinely do like would, would really be helpful. Um, I'd be very thankful for that. Again, you can also go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and get some pretty, pretty awesome merchandise, all of it high quality, good stuff. Um, I think you guys would be stoked. And there's other ways to help also in the description of of the video it'll show you how to do that as well so thank you thank you for everything most of all thank you for the beautiful comments you guys are such beautiful human beings our community here is i can it, it never gets old reminding you how thankful i am to have you guys in my life we have a community of really wonderful wonderful selfless beautiful souls who really appreciate what I go through to put this channel together so thank you and I look forward to many 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 more years next year is going to be our 10th anniversary doing this so we're definitely gonna have some cool gear for the 10th anniversary and um, some cool stuff going on cool giveaways we're gonna do some more giveaways before then of course but just want you guys to be aware that yeah it'll be 10 years i moved here may 1st 2015 and i've been recording every single storm since i've lived here and i'm probably one of the only people i know up here who's been in the same house for that amount of time it's pretty awesome so again like and subscribe help me out i'd appreciate it and yeah, have a great rest of your day. If you guys are coming up here, roads seem fine, but you always are gonna to wanna to contact 800 Caltrans just to make sure. It's an automated system, really easy to use. Um, or go to the Caltrans website on your phone, use the drop down menu up top, and uh, it'll give you an option. I, I, I believe it says like travel conditions or, or something like that. You'll be able to tell which one it is to check road conditions and then you type in the highway number you plan on driving on and boom populates the most up-to-date information possible straight from Caltrans all right guys well thank you for everything take care of yourselves and I uh, hope you enjoy the long video talk to you later bye guys January 20 what what is it 23rd I, I, I may have said 22nd earlier but it's January 23rd 2024 back to Moon Ridge Road. Peace out, guys. Love you.